Today we have a 2004 Acura TL with the Honda 3.2 liter V6 engine. The same engine is also used on the Honda Accord. So we're going to start by removing these dust shields. You could choose to remove this if you want. Turn these plastic pins vertical and this pulls right off. We remove the accessory belt, disconnect the low pressure line to the power steering pump, remove the two bolts that hold the power steering pump to the engine block and we'll move the whole power steering pump off to the side over here. Now we'll remove the accessory belt. This is supporting the engine from dropping by putting a jack underneath the engine. Remove this 10 millimeter ground strap and the 17 millimeter bolt on the side of the bracket and the two 14 millimeter vertical bolts. So we're going to remove the power steering pump so we have a 12 millimeter bolt mounting bolt here and then we have one back here. Okay, now I'll detach the low pressure hose and move the pump out of the way. Okay. Take this hose, move this out of the way. Okay, I used a suction tool to drain out power steering fluid I had in this reservoir. Now we're pulling the reservoir out and just moving it off to the side. If you remove this bolt over here for this idler pulley, there's one more mounting bolt underneath. It secures these two pulleys to a bracket and the whole bracket will come off. You have to remove that bolt. There. Take the upper timing belt covers off. So we have five 10 millimeter bolts to remove. Just move the harness off to the side. So there's one more bolt over here. Five bolts. Nineteen millimeter half inch socket, and I'm going to rotate the engine so that camshaft sprocket is at top dead center. This yellow mark over here in the can lines up with this yellow mark over here in the backing plate. There. It looks like it's slightly off. Let's see here. Right there. That's it.
I think somebody had replaced this before and they put RTV on it. It's totally unnecessary. I'll put a little bit of dielectric grease as a corrosion inhibitor. Line this mark up right here like that. Okay, and then feed it up to here. See, it can't stretch, so I'm going to move this slightly forward. I'll move this slightly back. Okay, now I'll clip it. But see, I'm in alignment right here. So I'll move this camshaft slightly forward. I'll move this slightly back.
and then this piece goes on. And we're done.